welcome back to my channel so today we have a treat we have five guys right so we have the little cajun fries and we have the little cajun cheeseburger and oh my god this bag is so greasy anyways that's the uh part of the charm okay we like that we love to see it so on my little cheeseburger here i got lettuce tomato pickles extra pickles and onions not grilled onions i got grilled jalapenos right so that's what that looks like right good stuff nice soft bread my pickles is it extra yes it looks extra um um also I was really in the mood for a good burger, right? And I'm really, really a sucker, like a huge fan for like a nice saucy burger. And I've always wanted to travel to the West Coast to try the In-N-Out burger and try their animal style burger, their animal style fries. I'm not able to get there right now, so I've basically been looking up recipes on YouTube on how to make the spread and that's what I did. So I'm gonna dump some of these fries out. I made the spread. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Yo, one thing I love about Five Guys, you can't see it, but this bag is still filled with fries this is a small one imagine if i got the regular or the large so anyways here's the spread i made so in this spread there's mayo there's ketchup there's uh yellow mustard pepper vinegar and relish um i used apple cider vinegar for my spread i guess you can use white vinegar anyways i found this recipe on youtube pretty pretty easy to make literally no warming up on the stove or anything you just put it in a bowl mix it real good and you have this nice french dressing type of look right so i'm gonna put this over these fries some nights when I'm feeling really ambitious, I'll make this, um, ooh, I'll make this spread and I'll saute onions for like 45 minutes, literally sauteing onions until they are really, really brown. And then I'll put cheddar cheese on the fries. I'll put the fries in our little, um, toaster oven. I'll melt the cheese and then I'll put the onions on top of that cheese. Oh my goodness and put on the spread it's it's a vibe it's a whole vibe so let's go ahead and get this first bite and i love these fries because they come nicely seasoned like i don't need to add anything extra on here can you guys see this i don't know i think i'm gonna have to find a way to like bump this up a little bit so you guys can see the magic did that do something did that do anything i hope <laughs> it did <laughs> i think it makes a difference anyways we have our cajun fries with the animal style spread it's pretty good and i'm really looking forward to traveling to the west coast to actually try the animal style fries and their Animal Star Burger, the Double Double, the Secret Menu, Ooh, all that. All that. Today I was this close. 
to order in Shake Shack. But <laughs> by the time I actually got around to it, <laughs> they were no longer delivering. And that was like 5 o'clock. It's like maybe 7 p.m. right now. This was really good. I'm really proud of myself. So how have you guys been doing? I hope you're staying safe. If you hear noise going by, it's the airplanes. I live near the airport. Staying safe, being safe, just riding this quarantine out. I'm actually gonna put some on the burger. Don't judge me. It's gonna be a messy one. Oh, hope you guys can see that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo! Get that bad boy right there. Oh my goodness. Good stuff, good stuff. I don't really like tomatoes, but when I do eat it, it's on a burger. Look at that. Look, look at you looking all special. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get in here. First bite. Wow. Mm-hmm. This burger is usually good on its own, but with the spread, next level. Wow. And so, to drink, I have water. And I have some rosé. This is actually my second glass. This is a Sonoma Couture Pinot Noir of Rosé. That's what they wrote on the bottle, word for word, okay? It's like 11.9% alcohol. I like to round up, so let's say 12. This is my second glass. This was a gift to me from the actual lady who makes this wine in California. I met her a couple months ago um, at a networking event. And she gifted me two bottles of this. It, oh my goodness. Really good. So, I love it because it's not too sweet, it's not too dry. Perfect summer wine. Mm hmm. I don't know if you guys sorry i'm licking my fingers it's so good though you cannot waste the spread i don't know if you guys are like keeping up with what's going on on instagram but there's this thing where they're asking people to invest eight hundred dollars and talking about if you get to the center you'll make your eight hundred dollars all you have to do is invest one hundred dollars and at the end you'll make eight hundred dollars and immediately, I was side-eyeing that thing. <laughs> and then later on, on the news, the news is like, do not fall for this. This is a pyramid scheme. Wow. This is going to be a messy video. I, I feel it. So, we are living in very unprecedented times, right? That's what the news keeps saying. So, 
if for some reason you were laid off, let go, apply for unemployment. Don't let people take advantage of you during these times because that's what people will do, right? Be smart. Don't just invest your money into things. If they're saying, oh, you can make money quick, this is fast money, ask yourself, well, why is it fast money? What What is the catch here? Nothing in life comes to you that easily. It, there's always a catch. Mm. So... Be smart, be careful. This is probably going to be my last burger for a while. Um, I want to start eating healthier. Um, I know you look at me and you're like, oh, you're so skinny. Yes, yes, I am doesn't mean anything that doesn't mean i can't work on myself you know what i mean i want to have more fruits and veggies in my diet and more water less hard liquor i love to drink rum i'm a i'm a rum person and i've gotten into vodka lately during this quarantine i've been locked up for not locked up but i have been mostly in the house for a, over a month right so i've been experimenting with the liquors so um, I'm shifting away from the hard stuff and going more towards wine, which is why I have my glass here. And then um, when I get my Amazon order, I want to really commit. So today I ordered a waist trainer. I ordered the goalie apple cider vinegar gummies, which is really good for detoxing and um, digestion. I ordered some vitamin d capsules and some biotin pills which is really good for uh hair growth nail growth skin apparently so this might just be my last glass of wine so i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy it well not my last glass maybe my last bottle i already opened the bottle so i'm just gonna finish it and then then serious life changes I'm not kidding like I love fries like I I am I would say potato is one of my biggest weaknesses right I love it I love baked potato I love fried potato I love mashed potato I love roasted potato and fries just give me any kind of fries I love straight fries cully fries string fries shoe fr season fries just give me all the fries and that's a problem like i need to do better in life right so i'm gonna like go on a real serious like life journey where my my um my diet will be mostly Fruits, veggies, seafood. I'm not really quite ready to give up meat yet. Every now and then a steak is okay, right? I'm not going to be eating steak every day. Maybe like twice a month if I go to a nice steakhouse. But other than that, I really want to stick to a nice a nice um, eating habit. I don't want to call it a diet, but a nice eating habit. Um being locked i keep saying locked up because it's just like an easy go-to word but being on quarantine is just so easy to pick out for no reason right the other day i caught myself eating a bag of lace chips then i went for a bag of plantain chips and then i had some doritos and i, I really looked at myself like wow you're really doing this and i was almost disappointed with myself because i wasn't even hungry so i find that i'm no longer eating for 
substance? Is that the word? You know what I'm saying. I'm no longer eating for substance. I'm eating out of boredom. I love being home, but... I just feel like I wouldn't be eating like this if I had options. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I could go see my friends, if I could go to the park and go for a jog or a nice walk i say jog like i actually work out like i would go for a nice walk i love to do scenic walks by the lakes and the rivers honey i just feel like if that was an option i would not be sitting in the house all day every day just eating for no reason food should be fuel As I shove this fry in my mouth. Food should be fuel, you guys. These fries are so good. I don't even need that burger. But I'm going to get to you. I bought this glass. Um, from. I believe Home Depot. I bought two of them. I broke one. The one I broke was my favorite. I bought it during Halloween season. That's why you see this little ghost on here, right? Cute. I'm here for the booze, which I am. But the other one was my favorite. Um, it broke because I got a little bit too excited. I made a nice cocktail and, and I had ice this big, chunks of ice in this glass, right? And I swirled it around to, you know, give it a nice sh swirl, not shake. And I went like this. And the ice cube literally flew through the glass. And it shattered along with my heart. I was so upset with myself. I was like, was that swirl even necessary? Like, I, I started to contemplate life. Like, why do you do the things you do? <laughs> I was so upset. So now I'm left with this one, and, and it's fine. I like it. So this is my third video. Um, I've decided to try to up ooh, upload once a week. Consistently, Thursday night. Mm. Yeah. Mm. this burger is fighting back is it the tomatoes they are so juicy like i feel like if i was a tomato person i would be loving this but i am not a tomato person I just... we're gonna have to get you out of here i am not a tomato person i'm just not i try to be but as far as vegetables Give me broccoli, give me Brussels sprout, give me corn. I love corn. I can eat corn any day of the week. But tomatoes? What? Sorry. I just can't get into tomatoes. I just, onions? I love onions. Pickles, I love pickles, especially on my burgers. Lettuce. Of the part is, I'm going to work on my gardening skills and I plan on growing like cherry tomatoes. I guess I would grow it and just give it away. <laughs> carrots. I love carrots. What about y'all? What, what is your favorite vegetable and what is your favorite fruit? I think I was told that tomatoes... Our fruits? I can't really remember. Don't quote me. Don't come for me. Mm -hmm. These fries have just been such a delight. Jake is this burger is <laughs> like so messy. It's falling apart. Where did I go wrong? It's like my life right now. Just messy and falling apart. 
Is it the, is it the spread? What happened? Jeez. I hope you guys noticed. Like, I'm really making improvements every video. First video, forehead was cut off. Look at me now. All up in it. You're welcome. Second video, couldn't see the food. All up in it. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm doing better. I'm doing better. And as I keep going through this process i will keep getting better and i will keep improving i'm gonna finish these fries and then call it a night because i can tell this burger <laughs> is fighting back and i don't need y'all to see me go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this burger Something I did see also on Instagram that I want to address is that, well, not on Instagram, it was on Facebook. People were saying that they watch everything on Netflix. One month and you watch everything Netflix had to offer. And some people are going as far as to say they, they watched everything twice. How do you, how do you do that? There's 24 hours in one day. Most of those movies are like two hours long. I'm no mathematician or anything, but that, that ain't adding up to me. Do you not sleep? Do you... Like, tell me what I need to do so I can breeze through Netflix the way you do. Because, honestly, I have Netflix and I have Hulu. And I watch specific things right like if something's really good like the blackfish documentary that's the one with um the orcas the killer whales it used to be on netflix i watched that one more than twice because sometimes we need to see a movie or a show twice because sometimes you just don't believe what you just saw so i wanted to make sure i seen what i saw right so i rewatched it but to go through people in this house are just so friggin rude i'm kidding they don't get that i'm entertaining anyways but to go through everything on Netflix twice, how do you do that? I, for me, if, if you don't have my attention within the first like 20 minutes of the movie or the show, I start to side eye because it's like, well, is it going to get any better? And then after 20 minutes, and now we're on like 35 minutes, I'm like, I can't do this. I cannot commit to this. I can't force myself to get into things, right? For example, I'm a huge fan of the, the show The Office. And it is on Netflix. Now, people who watch The Office, they love it. It is what it is. And there are other people out there in the world that like The Office. And they also like other series like Parks and Rec always sunny in Philadelphia I would rather re-watch the entire series of The Office than watch always sunny in Philadelphia there I said it I just I couldn't get into it I could not get into it and then there's this other uh, series on Netflix called Schitt's Creek it has its funny moments when I see like a little blooper on like Instagram. 
But to sit down and watch the series, I did not make it past season one, episode four. And I really tried, like I really pushed myself. I'm going to just get into it. So I don't understand how these people are just breathing through Netflix. I don't get it. Like, no matter how bad the series... I'm not saying these series are bad. I'm just saying it wasn't for me. I'm not that type of person. I couldn't get into it. But if you can't get into it, do you just still go on? You still watch it? What? How are you guys staying sane and like keeping up with everything? Are you breezing through Netflix or are you still picky choosy? I know for me, when I can't find something immediately on Netflix, I go to Hulu. And if I can't see anything on Hulu, I go to regular TV or I play my games on my phone like Candy Crush, Word with Friends. Or I do my puzzles. I have these um, books that I always buy at the airport. I do my puzzles and that's how I've been getting on. I cook and I bake. I look up recipes. I don't see myself breezing through Netflix. That's just not something I'm going to do. Uh, so for my next um, video, let's discuss a series on Netflix. And no, it's not the Tiger King. I know you probably want that, but that's not what I'm going to give you. <laughs> I want to talk about the series called Love is Blind, right? Um, I watched it. I think I, I... No, I didn't watch that one twice. I did not. Um, some of the things you only need to see it once, and that that's one of them. But anyways, I want to talk about that series, Love is Blind. There's one season out right now. If you haven't seen it, I recommend seeing it if you're into romance, love, the unknown. I recommend that series. So I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to finish this wine and this burger <laughs> off screen. Because this thing is really fighting back. I, I, <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys stay safe. And I look forward to you joining me in the next video. Um, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.